Hello and welcome to Geek at Play Studio Tutorials. In these tutorials we're going to create dunes and we will use more advanced techniques. If it's first time you meet with the world machine, I do recommend for you check our tutorials Discovering World Machine where we look through all nodes that, or um, devices is what they can do. So let's go first and creating and right here we have our basic preset. I don't need for this so I'll just delete those presets and I'm going to start working from creating um, something resembling dunes. For this one let's look on um, dunes. I want to create a first straight kind of dune lines and we're going to um, generators. Let's create grading and we'll put it first gradient. We'll probably use it second gradient so we can um, kind of utilize but for now we'll just use it first one. Let's go ahead open properties for this and I want to keep a direction here except the width maybe make a little bit shorter and I want to switch this to linear. so you can notice in preview how many we have it. Let's take width and maybe go down to 684 will be fine for now we can switch anytime. This is will be our control gradient Next is, think about this, this is a dunes that going, main dunes. Now I want them kind of don't look so unique on a height. And we'll have it some distortions added. Distortion by the height, distortion by the width. So in this one, we'll go and inside generators, actually right here we have it very nice, so we'll put it. And we're going to set this gradient as a mask input. Notice right here we have it already kind of apply this mask. The next let's go inside the properties and a couple things we want to do. Probably one go to reduce. I'm just looking which and you can change the settings what you like it. So probably maybe two third um right we can change distortion direction and this one is kind of optional wherever you prefer as well as randomize it if you want it. So let's click OK. This is our big ways. What I want to do, I want to add the small ones kind of on a side going right here. And for this, I'm just going to select both of them. Control C, Control V, copy paste. So we have a duplicate. Only right here now, I want to change the gradient. So I'm going to open this gradient and we're going to set this way down maybe 90 you can see how small they are. So let's click OK. Okay. As well we'll go inside the our oops, the open. Uh, let's bring this a little bit smaller. Again because our resolution we have kind of higher details in this case. Um, we can add distortion if we need it and how so you can try to adjust those see how they will work for you best. Okay, and next I want to go and select combine them together. So we'll go in combiner and we'll just go select one, select second. So we'll select two of them and we'll just add option add. Okay, we can move a little bit more towards. The one thing you notice these small waves on the both end. So for example, if I want to make my wind coming from right to left, it should be less the small one on the side, on the right and more down with the wind not catching. So it's kind of going slope direction. So what are we going? We need to control this slope by using select angle. And this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to selectors and we'll go to select angle add right here and we'll take it from our main output go right here and we'll take this output and put it in combiner mask so that right now if you look it kind of going aside we need set properly angle I probably will use more than just one angle so I want to control all of them at the same time and to add global control sometimes make much easier to do this for this, we'll go inside the parameters, 
and we'll just take scalar parameter right here and place it. Next, we can take this scalar parameter and just go to the headings, connect. Okay. And again, this is set to zero, so we'll just leave it like this for now. And you can see right here we set highlight by on the left side. Again, if you can go inside, you can modify and you can see we're changing the angles. So I'll just set zero. In a case, if I want in the future modify, I can easily perform this from this single point. So right here, I have it my combiner. Next, what I want to do, I want to add a terrace. So this one is giving me kind of effect on the side. Again, let's preview. And you can see we kind of have them right on side blank and this little bit less on the side. Okay, let's go ahead next add a terrace to this. So I'm going to filters. We'll click on terrace and we'll go to add right here to this point. Okay, and let's go connect them. Okay, on the terrace I want to do a couple things. One, I want to increase maybe to 42. So we have a lot of steps. It will take shape and we'll go to have it a little bit more sharper step and maybe layering pop up just slightly maybe to two okay i'll just type in okay next i same things i want the control but see right here on both sides going so i want to do this just on one side for this i need to do another angle um control so we can go copy paste this one okay same remember we can just connect it okay we'll take input from what we have it and we'll take output and put on a mask if we preview right now you can see we control more from one side so our side on the left right is more smooth and we have a lot of details on our left side this is one way we can control it okay, let's go back to view okay right now we kind of have it a very general shape right here done now I want kind of more add effect and again you look they're going in straight lines so I want to add more effect of them distortions kind of going you know wavy so for this we'll use a displacement but before we use displacement I want them a little bit smooth out so I'm going to add blur and we'll just um, connect blur and we'll see after I'm just default set by five and blur again a little bit smooth out for us don't have those sharp edges you can modify anytime go back to blur and change if you need it okay and next we'll go work with simple displacement so right here you'll notice we have it simple displacement and we'll take and connect the next we need control our displacement and best is control from our um, gradients so but before it's a path or how they're going before they do this actually we can control but I want control them on the side so I need it invert so it will control just between them let's go select our invert and we'll take this gradient connect to invert and connect to so you can see right here we have our distortion kind of done let me select sun maybe this way okay. but again the steel very straight we need to use a mask okay to apply some couple things but okay, before we do this we want a little bit work on this displacement because what it does this displacement will push them a little bit more towards the right side and make him kind of smoother this way the best way it's to control our direction um, not just direction but control also um, power and direction so let's go I want same connect this direction to the angle direction okay um, but again this direction it will be work kind of very interesting because if we connect 
Okay, let's go preview right here. And we'll go inside and add a string. You'll notice it's going some wrong direction. So it doesn't do right direction that I want it. But I want control same. So I need to add some modifier. And probably best to do it's using the arithmetic. So we'll scale arithmetic. We'll push it between these two. Let's bring our string a little bit up. Maybe you know what? So we can see. Okay, and next we can work on a, a direction. Actually, you know what? This is maybe a little bit too much. So let me just decrease. And we can play with this. But okay, right here, till I'm changing, you can see we have kind of wrong position so i want to change this and let's go right here and switch this amount we run there yeah there you go so if we preview right now you can see we have it kind of pre-building these lines going sideways and we have it nice steps build on the side so this is kind of like rough preview again we can always go back into the displacement and we can decrease string see overall you can kind of readjust and see which one will work better i think this one will work slightly better again right here we have straight lines but somewhat little bit start resembling um sharper here and more kind of flutter on the side Okay, so next, um, actually this is one displacement. Next, I want to set displacement and move them in a horizontal so they won't be straight lines. Let's go to filter. We'll use another simple displacement. And we'll go to take our primarily connecting height field and directions I'm going to connect to our normal. So we have the same directions. And right here in this one, I want to control my uh, distortion amount by controlling this I want to use actually something more random and to do this we can use it advanced fractal so we'll use it this one let's go open and right here uh, before we do this actually let me go ahead and connect so when we connect you can see we already have slightly effect but I want effect a little bit more to this so we'll go lock this device so we can preview when we're modifying and I'm going to switch this one to below so it will add more let's go to set maybe a little bit smaller let's see if it's a little effect okay well, before I forgot to add just a little bit of the power here so we can preview so let's do maybe just some effect you can preview on this way okay um, so in this case you can see we can increase or decrease amount and you can overall distortion kind of multiply work this way see which one is work better in this case as well the stampiness you can increase this is options you can see it's kind of moving so I'll normally just set it's on the edge. Also notice we have the exclamation mark. It's mean it's not total tiling. So when you're careful, when you add, you can see on the sides is wheel adjusting this way. Okay, as well, we can take stepness and just maybe slightly increase. And I think this way work and presence right here will make a little bit softer. So for example, if we go and can preview on this, you can see the our uh, um, presence make it a little bit softer so we can bring to 19 okay I think at this moment we kind of um, created already a somewhat looking like waves and let's go in our next uh, portion and continue working on this